The winning. The witch hunt. The fire. The fury. It's the best presidency ever. Tens of thousands of people packing streets and parks in New York City, Philadelphia, Chicago, and Denver, carrying signs reading Black Lives Matter. I did more for our black population than anybody other than Abraham Lincoln, okay? And it's a shame you have to say that because, to be honest with you, Raymond, they should say we love Trump. Outside the White House, protesters facing off against authorities, kneeling and raising their hands in peaceful demonstration. But then, almost suddenly, U.S. Park and Secret Service police began shoving and hitting, striking this Australian news crew as they were live on the air. Oh. And as police move in, they fire tear gas on the crowd. And then, in a made-for-reality TV primetime moment, the president and his entourage left the White House and walked through that park where protesters had been cleared moments earlier. Some women love a man who can hold a conversation. I love a man who can't hold a book. I believe Jesus used his words to clear his way to the Sermon on the Mount, but I'm sure he would have gone with tear gas if they had it back then. I'm standing up with all the bombs, all the black lives, all the injustice, and we're not going to stand for this in our city. Can we just play, play it, and I'll just pantomime it and do a TikTok, like, yeah. like TikTok style? And then they have cans of soup. Soup. And they throw the cans of soup. That's better than a brick, because you can't throw a brick. It's too heavy. But a can of soup, you can really put some power into that, right? And then when they get caught, they say, no, this is soup for my family. He doesn't care at all about people carrying guns, but he wants a universal background check for people to buy clam chowder? Clam chowder? Anything a black person's hand is a gun. Oh, don't, don't shoot! It's gun. not a Look, gun! Nothing in my hand, gun. Gun! Two years from now, we're gonna see Progresso give him an ad campaign where he's like, soup for my family. People don't realize, you know, the Civil War. Um, yeah. Was... You think about it, why? People don't ask that question. But why was there the Civil War? Why could, why could that one not have been worked out? Incidentally, I took the test, too, when I heard that you passed it. Yeah, how did it's you do it? Well, it's not the hardest test. No, but the it last... There's a picture, and it says, what's that? And it's an elephant. No, no, no. You see, that's all misrepresentation. Well, that's what it was on the web. It's all misrepresentation. Because, yes, the first few questions are easy, but I'll bet you couldn't even answer the last five questions. I'll bet you couldn't. They get very hard. This is not an intelligence test. It's a dementia test. And I said, is there some kind of a test, an acuity test? And. He said there actually is, and he named it, whatever it might be. And it was 30 or 35 questions. The first questions are very easy. Are the last anything. questions are much more difficult, uh, like a memory question. It's uh, like you'll go person, woman, man, camera, TV. So they say, could you repeat that? So I said, yeah. So it's person, woman, man, camera, TV. Okay, that's very good. If you get it in order, you get extra points. Trump was able to take a test where he said person, woman, man, camera, TV, and he was able to identify those things, and he was bragging about that? That's real? While many of you were shelling out money to the IRS every April, the president was not. Not one dime in federal taxes for 10 out of 15 years, spanning from 2000 to 2015. Is Wesley Snipes still in jail? $750 in taxes. Man, that got Blade locked up. The only way we're going to lose this election is if the election is rigged. Postmaster General Louis DeJoy, a Trump donor, is under fire for reducing the number of mail sorting machines and removing collection boxes, resulting in backlogs, just as many Americans are expected to mail in their ballots. And then he's telling people vote by mail is not gonna work, as if the post office isn't delivering like a billion Christmas cards, none of which clearly were sent by Melania. I'm working like a 
ask my ass I know. The Christmas stuff that, you know, who gives a f about Christmas stuff and decoration, but I need to do it, right? Do you want to call them? What do you want to call them? Give me a name. Give me a white name. White supremacists and, like and right white supremacists and right proud boys. White supremacists and right proud boys. Stand back and stand by. And, and when you start saying stuff like bring the boys out and stand by and stand back, that was just like, now what more do we have to see or hear? You know, that's just too much. That's scary, actually. In fact, I bet. Trump's ancestors have a long history of being at civil rights marches. I mean, those hoses couldn't just spray by themselves. Will you commit to making sure that there is a peaceful transfer of power after the election? Well, we're going to have to see what happens. You know that I've been complaining very strongly about the ballots, and the ballots are a disaster. I and, understand that, but and, people are rioting. Do you commit uh, to making sure that there's a no, peaceful wanna, transfer of power? We want to have get rid of the ballots, and you'll have a very trans. We'll have a very peaceful. There won't be a transfer, frankly. There'll be a continuation. Trump has decided that if he doesn't win, he may not or will not leave office. Oh, what oh, does oh. it take to fire white people? Democracy, he's just not that into you. You can criticize him behind, but when you side with him, you have to side with him. I have been uh, advising Donald Trump for over a year now, and he is a great listener. I cannot and will not violate my duty to protect the confidential communications I have with the president. I like the diversity of knowledge, um, and I'm gonna use all that I can to help get President Trump reelected again in 2020. It benefits Mr. Trump, and I'll do anything to protect Mr. Trump. I'm just an FOT, friend of Trump. So I think Easter Sunday, and you'll have packed churches all over our country, I think it would be a beautiful time.